Hi guys, so I know it's been a minute before I've been on here right after Thanksgiving. My daughter and I got COVID and then I think we got like a sinus infection and then the flu afterwards. So we're still not even up to par now. So I'm going to do my best to show up for you guys because I want to help you. But I think, you know, this is a really good lesson to learn to you know, listen to our bodies and listen to what's being communicated around us. Because I feel like in the dog training world, like it's so involved in about all this control, you know, and control is really dominated by fear. Fear of what? Fear of our dogs not responding in a certain way because it means what? What does that mean for you? And I really would you know, take that question and wonder about it. Does it mean you're a bad dog owner? Does it mean your dog's going to get hurt? Um, does it mean that your dog has the power instead of you? Because the reality of the matter is when, when we really want to develop that conscious relationship with our dogs, and I'm going to do a live tomorrow. Um, I'm going to get back into dog skills. Um, we'll see if I can do an hour or not. Um, normally I do an hour, but we'll see what my energy level is. And it's all about the human end of dog training. So when we're thinking about that, that brings up like all of our perceptions, our thoughts, the ways that we perceive the world from. We project on our animals. Um, the way our parents parented us could also be the way that we're parenting our dogs. And do we really want to replay those same patterns? Are they really serving us? And if, if the answer is yes for you, by all means, just keep going with it. If the answer is no, then I want you to really listen because I'm a conscious dog trainer. Like I'm here to tell you that dog training is not about controlling your dog. Um, and for some of you, that may be a slap in the face. It's really about listening, shutting off the drama in your mind and really looking at your dog and saying, I love you for who you are. And when you're doing such and such, what are you communicating? If your dog is barking and lunging at the end of the leash? Are you really going to create stories that your dog is stubborn, wrong, bad? Or are you going to say, gee, hmm, my dog's really uncomfortable right now. And what else is underneath that? Is my dog scared? Does my dog want to go on a walk? Like, where does my dog want to be? And as Hi, Jake. It's uh, it's so wonderful to have you on here. Feel free to chime in, ask any questions that, that you might have. Um, what is it underneath all of your mind chatter that your dog is communicating to you? And I'm going to tell you, if you start listening to that, then it's it's going to be 10 times easier to train your dog because if you're coming from a place of control, like I need to get this behavior to stop, I mean, yeah, I am here to help you with that. Of course, you're working with a dog trainer because you want to get something to change. But if it's just like, I just need it to stop now, do you feel the intensity of that energy? Who wants to be around that? Your dog isn't going to enjoy that, right? So are you able to come from it from a softer uh, approach? And and if you are, then you're not going to want to use a shot collar. You're, you're not going to want to hit your dog. You're not going to want to dump all your drama on your dog. Instead, you're going to be like, hmm, looks like you're feeling such and such. What is it that I can do to help you feel better? What is it that I can do to help our relationship improve? Those are great questions to ask. What is it that I can do to help us be in a synchronicity? Synchronicity. What is it that can help us grow together and fill our relationship with love, vibrancy, and joy? 
So Jake has a question about litter training. So again, this is going way deeper than that. What is your dog communicating to you when your dog is having an accident in the house instead of just going to stop it? And that's where I would invite you to look today. You know, if your dog's a puppy, then, um, you know, obviously they don't have a lot of bladder control yet. But getting to that core is then going to help you later to apply the tools. So rather than trying to look at the tools on the fix the problem right now, I would love for you to comment and tell me what stories and drama are you projecting on your dog when your dog is having accidents, if that's what you want to call it. Um, you're saying litter box training, I'm assuming. So I'm making the assumption that there's accidents happening in the house. I'm not sure if that's really happening. Um, and you're saying it's not communicating, it's a dog. Um, well, that's what this call is about, right? It's about going on that deeper level. So that's what I'm here to say today is your dog is not just a dog. Your dog has feelings. Your dog has emotions. And we take our past emotional drama and dump it on our dogs. And we use that in our dog training. And when you do that, it's going to be messy. It's going to be full of drama, fighting, yelling, control, hitting, shot collars, stopping things, fix it. And what I'm here to tell you today is what I do is deeper than that. I look at the relationship between you and your dog. And that starts with you, not your dog. What thoughts energy, etc., are happening when your dog's not responding to you, Jake. And that's what I'm asking you is like, are you willing to go deeper? And if you're not, that's okay. Then this call may not be for you. If you are willing to go deeper, then that's what I would invite you to look at is what's underneath all of that. And are you willing to take your relationship with your dog to a new level, to a more conscious level, right? So if, um, if my dog's not showing up in a certain way, it's really easy for me to just be then be like, oh, it's being stubborn. So like, for instance, um, you know, when I had Seiki, he went through this phase where like he got super scared of cars. And he was like having a panic attack and shaking and not even wanting to walk on the leash. And I was like, oh my gosh, like, what is going on here? Like, this is totally, you know, not his normal behavior. And I did so much emotional projection when it initially happened. I was just like, oh my God, like, you know, what's wrong? Like focusing on the problem and instilling all this fear. And I had to step away from it and be like, okay, how can I see him in a place of light and love for the true being that he really is? And once I did that, like the training part became easy and the problem, you know, dissolved within like a month or two. I mean, it was just completely gone. And uh, when I would walk him, I had to um, embody a whole nev new level of energy instead of this fixed energy of like, I want you to stop panicking. Hey, there's anything wrong here. Hey. To, I love you. I see you. And I'm going to be present with you on this walk. And I'm going to channel white light for the both of us to the beingness of God, spirit, and as I channel that, can I be in the now and can I see you for who you really are rather than all the stories that I've projected onto you? And then when I'm in that state, then it's really easy to do the dog training because I'm not dumping all my stuff on my dog, you know? Yeah, I did counter conditioning. I gave him treats when a car went by and I did that stuff too. It's that energy behind it is what I specialize in. And that's what separates me from a lot of other dog trainers because 
a lot of other dog trainers are so focused on the tools and guys, that's great. But I go deeper than that because I want my clients to get really good results and I want you to get really good results. And the way that you do that is by looking within yourself, dropping out of the story and getting into the now and focusing on that place of love. So that's what I'm going to leave you with today. And if your comments are more geared towards fixing it, there's nothing wrong with you. But the call today is not about fixing the problem. It's about looking at you and going to that greater level of consciousness. Are you willing? And if you are, comment, play with me. I want to hear you. I am your guru. Like I am the one that can really help you intensify and electrify and expand your relationship with your dog to a level that you've never experienced before. And I super duper want to hear from you. So if you're interested in this, join me tomorrow. Um, as long as everything goes well, I mean, eh, something could not because, you know, like I said, we've been wonky with sickness. So it could be at, you know, two o'clock or on the live. I got to pick my dog, my daughter up from school. I don't know. Um, but um, if, you know, all goes well, I'll be here for the Facebook live at two o'clock tomorrow on Wednesday. And we'll be, again, not focusing on fixing the problem with that greater level of consciousness. And I would love to explore that conversation with you and, and see, you know, see you on that call and, and see where it goes. Thanks guys. Have a good night.